today's topic is x-ray diffraction pattern of a cubic system and the structure of sodium chloride using Bragg's equation. In the last videos we have discussed x-ray diffraction using single crystal and powder method and now we are going to discuss structure of sodium chloride using Bragg's equation. We already know the Bragg's law which is given by n lambda equal to 2d sin theta and d equal to d is the interplanar distance d equal to n lambda over 2 sin theta. For a first order reflection n equal to 1 therefore d equal to lambda over 2 sin theta. And for a cubic system we already learned interplanar distance dhkl equal to a divided by root of h square plus k square plus l square. So equating this 1 and 2 we can write it as a divided by root of h square plus k square plus l square equal to lambda over 2 sin theta. Then square on both sides. So we will get a square over h square plus k square plus l square equal to lambda square over 4 sin square theta. And rearrange both sides we will write sin square theta equal to lambda square by 4 a square into h square plus k square plus Lambda square by 4 a square is a constant because lambda is a wavelength, it is a monochromatic wave. So, lambda is a constant and a is the edge length also constant. So, lambda square by 4 a square can be written as k. So, sin square theta equal to k multiply h square plus k square plus l square where h, k and l are the Miller indices of a plane. So, sin square theta is proportional to h square plus k square plus l square. So, by using h square plus k square plus l square, we can predict the pattern of the plane present inside the cubic crystal. Now, we will learn which are the planes present for simple cube, body centered cube and face centered cubic crystal. For a simple cube, the in the all the integers which satisfies h square plus k square plus l square are present. So, here we can write HKL values as 100, 110, 111, then 200, 210, 211, 220, 221 or 300, 310, 311, etc. So, here we can write it as DHKL. D is A over root of H square plus K square plus L square. So, here A divided by root of 1 is A. Here A by root 2. Here A by root 3 and here a by root 4, here a by root 4 plus 1 is a by root 5, a by root 6, a by root 8, a by root 9, a by root 10, a by root 11, etc. So, here this dhkl values are given here and sin square theta hkl value also we can find it as k multiply h square plus k square plus l square. So, we can write it as sin square theta hkl equal to k multiply 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square that is 1k. So, here k multiply 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square that is 2k. So, here k multiply this h square plus k square plus l square. So, it is 3k then 4k, 5k, here 6k, 8k, 9k, 10k, 11k. So, here after 6k, 7k is missing. Since integer 7 cannot be written in the form of h square plus k square plus l square, sin square theta value cannot be equal to 7k. So, for a simple cubic crystal, the, all the planes will be present except this 7k. 7k it will not be present because it cannot be written in the form of h square plus k square plus l square. So, the planes which cannot be written in the form of h square plus k square plus l square will be absent in the case of simple cubic crystal. Now, let us see for body centered cubic crystal. Diffraction lines for which h plus k plus l is an odd integer are absent in the case of body centered cubic. So, we have written here all the hkl planes and for dhkl planes we will see only the planes in which h plus k plus l is odd is absent. So, here 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 that is an odd integer so it is absent. So, here 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2 so it is present. Again here it is odd integer it will be not absent here it is even so it is present so here when h plus k plus l is odd that will be absent in the case of body centered cubic so all only the planes present here is 110 200 
ടു വൺ വൺ ടു ടു സീറോ ത്രീ വൺ സീറോ ടു 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 എക്സെട്ര സോ ഡി എച്ച് കെ ലീസ് എ ബൈ റൂട്ട് ടു എ ബൈ ടു എ ബൈ റൂട്ട് സിക്സ് എ ബൈ റൂട്ട് എയ്റ്റ് എ ബൈ റൂട്ട് ടെൻ ആൻഡ് എ ബൈ റൂട്ട് ട്വൽവ് സോ സയൻസ് സ്ക്വയർ തീറ്റ വാല്യൂ ക്യാൻ ബി റിട്ടേൺ ആസ് ടു കെ ഫോർ കെ സിക്സ് കെ എയ്റ്റ് കെ ടെൻ കെ ട്വൽവ് കെ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഈസ് ടു കെ ടു ഫോർ സിക്സ് എയ്റ്റ് ടെൻ ട്വൽവ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ സിക്സ് now in the case of phase centered cubic diffraction lines are observed only from those planes for which the values of hkl are all either odd all or even so it should be either all hkl values should be either odd or it should be even all other planes will be absent so here 1 0 0 0 is taken as an even integer so 1 0 0 is absent because 1 is odd number and 0 is even number 1 1 0 also absent 1 1 1 is present 2 0 0 is present 2 1 0 is absent 2 1 1 also absent when 2 2 0 is present 3 0 0 absent 3 1 0 absent 3 1 1 1 present 2 2 2 also present so its scale values it should be either all odd or all even that only present so the sin square theta values are 3k 4k 8k 11k 12k so if any crystal powder diffraction pattern show sin square theta values of 3 4 8 11 12 k that means the structure is phase centered now we will learn the crystal structure of sodium chloride three types of cubic lattice possible for sodium chloride are simple cubic body centered cubic and phase centered cubic so using that bragg's equation we will determine what is the structure of sodium chloride so these are the lattice planes of simple cube these all we have discussed in my previous video lattice planes of cubic crystals here i am repeating this one lattice planes of simple cube 4100 110 1, and 111 1, 1, and the ratio is d100 is to d110 is to d111 so these lattice planes if you have any doubt you can check my previous video for lattice planes so here d100 is a d110 is a by root 2 and d111 is a by root 3 so a is same so it can be cancelled so it is 1 is to 1 by root 2 is to 1 by root 3 the answer is 1 is to 0.707 is to 0.577 so if any crystal shows the ratio of interplanar distance of the first three planes is like this that means the crystal having simple cubic these are the lattice planes of phase centered cubic for phase centered cubic this one is d200 because we have to insert one plane in between this 100 as the atoms are presented corners as well as in the center of the phase so here this intercept this distance is only 1 by 2 and along x axis and infinity along y axis and infinity along z axis that is why we have written here 2 0 0 same like for 1 1 0 plane also we are inserting one one plane in between these two planes so here again the intercept is half of that 1 1 0 of simple cube so the miller indices is 2 2 0 for 1 1 1 plane these planes include all the atoms in the corner as well as in the face center so here there is no need of plane in between these two so this will be again 1 1 1 so the ratio when we are taking the ratio it will be d200 is to d220 is to d111 so it can be written as a by 2 is to a by 2 root 2 is to a by root 3 so the answer is 1 is to 0.707 is to 1.155 so if the crystal structure the ratio of interplanar distance is like this that means the crystal is having phase centered cubic now for lattice planes of body centered cube for body centered cube also 200 plane is there because in the center of the atom in the center of the cube one atom will be there so for that we have to insert one plane in between these two cubes so it will be 200 for 110 there is no need of another plane because this plane will pass through all the atoms at the corners as well as in the center of the cube then 
D222 we have to insert one plane because this one will be passing only to the face. It will not pass through the body center. So additional plane is needed to cover all the lattice atoms. So here D222 will be there. So when you are taking the ratio it will be D200 is to D110 is to D222. So that will be A by 2 is to A by root 2 is to A by root 2 root 3. That will be 1 is to 1.414 is to 0 0.577. So if any crystal plane having like this ratio of interplanar distance that belong to body centered cubic. Now let us discuss X-ray diffraction pattern of sodium chloride powder. So for sodium chloride powder the diffraction pattern is given here. This x-axis is a diffraction angle and this is the intensity. So here we can see the planes present are 111, 200, 220, 311, 222, 400, etc. That means the planes either all odd or all even are present in the diffraction pattern. And we know the diffraction angle is 2 theta. So this all we have discussed earlier. If the if the angle of incidence is theta, then the diffraction angle will be 2 theta. So from here we can understood that all the planes which is having either all odd or all even are present. So when you are drawing this diffraction pattern in the flattened mode, it will be like this. So this is the entrance ray and or the exit ray and these are the arcs. That means the diffraction pattern is given here. So in this powder diffraction pattern, here this pair, this pair is for 111 and this pair is for 200 and this one is for 220, it will go like this. So for 111 sin square theta equal to k multiply h square plus k square plus l square, so it will be 3k and for here it will be 4k. 8k, 11k, 12k, etc. So we have already discussed for face ended cube the diffraction pattern will be like this. So that will be 3k, 4k, 8k, 11k, 12k, etc. So we can tell the sodium chloride is having the face ended cubic structure. And using that Bragg's equation also we can determine the structure of sodium. So in the case of sodium chloride the graph shows peaks at 200, 220 and 111 planes at 2 theta values of 32, 32 for 200 and 46 for 220 and it is 14 or 28 for 111 and the theta values are 16, 23 and 14 degrees respectively. So we know according to Bragg's equation n lambda equal to 2d sin theta d equal to n lambda over 2 sin theta and for first order reflection n equal to 1 and lambda is constant lambda is a monochromatic wave and the, and the wavelength of the monochromatic wave is constant so we can neglect that lambda also. So the interplanar distance of the first three planes are given by D200 is to D220 is to D111. That can be written as 1 divided by sin theta 1 is to 1 over sin theta 2 is to 1 over sin theta 3. So theta 1, theta 2 and theta 3 we will get from the graph. So it can be written as 1 over sin 16 is to 1 over sin 23 is to 1 over sin 14. So the values are given here. Then it will be multiplying with 0 0.276. All these three will be multiplied with 0 0.276. So it can be written as 1 is to 0 0.706 is to 1.140. And the required ratio for face ended cube is D200 is to D220 is to D111 equal to 1 is to 0 0.707 is to 1.155. So this is a theoretical value and this one is the experimental value. So these both are comparable. So we can say sodium chloride has face ended cubic structure. So dear students, today we have discussed structure of sodium chloride using Bragg's equation. Thank you for watching. Please. Comment and subscribe for more videos.